Wednesday morning, 15th July. I'm afraid I did not pray hard enough last night. When I read S's note this morning, something broke inside me and overwhelmed me. I was busy laying the breakfast table, and suddenly I had to stop in the middle of the room and fold my hands and bow my head, and the tears that had been locked up inside me for so long welled up from my heart. And there was so much love, so much compassion, so much gentleness, and also so much strength in me that it simply had to be of some help. When I had read his note, I was filled with the deepest earnest. One must, oh, it must sound odd, but these few faint untidy pencil scrawls are the first real love letter I have ever received. I have suitcases full of others, of the so-called love letters men have written me in the past. Passionate and tender, pleading and demanding, so many words with which they tried to warm themselves and me, and so often it was all a flash in the pan. But these words of his yesterday, Oh you, my heart is so heavy. And this morning, Dear one, I so want to go on praying. They are the most precious presents I have ever laid before my spoiled heart. Somewhere, Montlarides writes, Quote, And I want to write it down once more. For that way I shall retain it longer than if I were merely to read it, and every word will last and have time to fade away." End quote. I shall now take up each of his words, put them to my heart, and there they will remain.